your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Good evening, I'm Trish Close. I'm Rick Tillery. Thanks for joining us. The number of hit and run accidents is going up in our area. Now state police have a warning for you. That message is tonight's top story at 6 o'clock. Most communities are safe. Most days you won't get in an accident. But your chances of becoming a victim of a hit and run are going up. We had a serious one on the freeway the other day, and then I read we had another one here two or three days ago. Oregon State Police seeing an increase in hit and runs from the grocery store to busy intersections to major crashes along Interstate 5. More incidents are popping up and drivers shirking the law. The law states when, when you are involved in a crash that uh, you are to remain at the scene and uh, to give the information to the other party, your, your name, your address, contact information, uh, driver's license information, including the number, insurance registration, things like that. That's what the law tells us we're to do. Unfortunately, some people don't do that. Most hit and runs you won't hear about. Others make headlines. A man accused in a hit and run now in custody. The accident sent three children to the hospital. Oven Campus Jr. arrested. This one last September took weeks to solve. Time and money investigators could have been using on other cases. Police say hit and run drivers aren't thinking about that when they hit the gas. Their reasons for taking off usually the same. Either they're uninsured, they're driving and they're drunk. They may be wanted by law enforcement some other, for some other uh, uh, criminal activity. Uh, they're suspended or they have no license and several other reasons. But The consequences felt by everyone. A hit and run costs everybody and um, if you're caught and you, uh, with hit and run, you'll be thrown in jail and uh, several thousands of dollars depending on the gravity of the offense. Oregon State Police say the increase in cases is being seen by agencies throughout the area. Now, there are several things you should do if you're the victim of a hit and run. First, call 911 immediately. Next, be sure you get the best description you can of both the driver and their vehicle. Finally, try to get information from anyone who may have witnessed the crash.